of the game has been favored in. Like, I would say there's, like, a very small window. He's yeah, probably, like, like, good turn... on, like, three. Turn three and maybe, like, turn four, <laughs> he's a little better. Yeah, then it's just over. And then... Yeah, it doesn't play a one-drop Temple Garden, go, tap. But, I mean, it has, has only eight of them. Zach missed the land drop. It looks like he may have mulliganed this game. Uh-oh. Well, we figured out how, uh... Yeah, it did it. Mission accomplished. Yeah. <laughs> Ben Weiberg, Selesnia Charm in man mode. Yep. I don't know if I would He's do that. He's going to put a token into play. I, and I then... actually don't know how uh, how many mulligans Zach took. Mm -hmm. But if it was less than like... Getting a realistic knight token. Oh, so that, that makes sense. Okay, there we go. Uh, he, that he cannot cast. Uh, we can hold it. Hold up. Oh, oh there never we mind. Go. There we go. Yeah. I thought that Clifftop Retreat was a wolf run for a second. Vault of the Archangels is not the land you're looking for. Actually, I don't know if I uh, I like this choice of Vault of the Archangels as a utility land out of uh, Zach's deck. I was, no. I was expecting Keswick Wolf Run. Yeah, same. I think Keswick Wolf Run is significantly better. Yes. Zach uh, down to eight? I uh, believe four so. and then eight? Yeah, yeah, four and then four more. Yep. Or four and then eight more. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, probably after a yep, probably after a quick game too. I've been trying to get the same token into play, and we're dead. Four different ways. Successfully keeps his uh, non-wolf token token in play for the duration of the game. Okay, down to the sideboard. <clears throat> the sideboard might find some uh, magic being played. What do you uh, like from uh, Zach? Don't like Rakdos Return. I don't like Slaughter Games. I don't mm -hmm. like Rest in Peace. I don't really like Centaur Healer that much. Nope. It's like Centaur not Healer. unreasonable, but it's not great. Uh, uh, when you play Centaur Healer, you wanted to block something. Yeah, and, I just, uh, and or these you are all need like to first life. strike and double strike guys, or like right. the parish. Uh, Ben's Ben's creatures when they deal damage, they deal damage in large amounts. Yeah, I don't really like it. No, yeah. he's got to sever the bloodline. It's better than the Shrine for Ferocity. Yeah. I think it's. I, I literally think he's swapped one card. Yeah. One card. <clears throat> it's possible he might board in some healers instead of like Garrick Primal Hunter, but that card's just sweet. Yeah. Uh, Garrick is like one way that uh, that can pretty much like lock up a game. Yeah. If uh, he untaps with a Garrick, the board just goes out of hand. Mm -hmm. What about uh, out of Ben's board? Uh, ben has some Nevermores. I don't really like those here. No. Um, he has two Bonfire of the <coughs> Damned, which, okay, so. Zach played. Zach actually gave away a significant amount of information by playing the vault. Yeah, that is at least a junk deck because he played Sun sure. Petal Grove, then Vault of the Archangel. So that would imply Lingering Souls, maybe. Yep. Um, I would have so, put it on like. Oh, this maybe telegraphs like some kind of Reanimator deck, which yep, may or may not Lingering Souls. Yep. Yeah, I would put him on like Junk Reanimator. Mm -hmm. It's possible that Ben. I don't think I put enough on. I don't think I can guarantee yeah. that he's reanimator enough to bring in my rest in peace. Yeah. But I think I enough Maybe to... enough for like a nevermore. Okay. It's like uh, a good hedge. Yeah. Like even if he isn't, then like you can just nevermore thrive toss or whatever. Uh I don't know. I don't really understand like why the... anyone is sideboarding this game. Yeah, the just the various numbers in uh Benzek. He has three Hot Masters main and the fourth in the sideboard. Yeah. For it's, when it's a good card. It's, it's literally his best card. Yeah. Oh, no, Restoration Angel is a better card. Yeah. Yeah. He but, like, it's seven, they're very good in combination with each yeah, other. Yeah, he has, like, seven cards that are actually good in his deck. Yeah. And that's one of them. I guess Avacyn's Pilgrim is a good card. Yeah. Okay. He's got Gavity Townships. Those are also good cards. Mm -hmm. Maybe a quarter of his deck is good cards. Whew. Full quarter. But, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure, like... I think uh, Ben just has, like, uh... I don't think it's like a, a matchup thing. It's just like a, a feel, something you might just have to get the feel for or whatever. Mm. Like, it's like, this is not for this matchup. This is not for this. Because these are like he mostly does, generic cards. He has Garrick Relentless in his deck over right. the Masters. It's possible that like he just needs like this exact mix of effects and can only play nine four drops, which yeah. in your Champion of the Parish deck is already pushing it, it looks like. Yeah. He has, he, 11, top autos, or he has two Zealous Constants. Yeah, he has 11 autos. cards that cost four or more, which is... Yeah. A lot for a champion of the parish deck. Yes, I. But 
I'm oh. sure if you go, it's... if you play turn one champion and then curve out after that, it has Borderland Rangers. In his I mean, deck. I played a similar count and block in terms of high drops, but like that was a completely different format. Yeah. Looks like uh, Ben's uh, doing the, the mulliganing this time. Yep. Let's see. How's his mana base? Um, it's it's about as good as you're gonna get with the Naya deck. It only has access to one uh, dual end and Temple Garden. Okay. For at least a couple weeks. Yeah. Um, but there's a you know there's uh four four oh, three planes. Yeah, I was looking at uh we saw the Esper deck last round. I'm like, why is Bastion not running Godless right? I'm like, oh yeah, no, like mm. it just put it together right now. Well, mostly because it's not legal. Yeah, I'm used to modern. Okay. Yeah. You have them all. You get them all. Uh, Four Cavern does a lot of work in Ben's deck. Uh, all of his creatures except for his Restors? four Restoration Angels. All right, so 28 cards that champion of the pair. Uh, Cavern of Souls is a, call it a painless city of breasts. Pretty much, it yeah. It makes them unconquerable. So. Makes a mana guard. He has three. He does not have a wolf run, but he has uh, three copies of Gavany Township. I don't think you can reliably activate Wolf Run off of for, like five sources. I think that if you have Farseek as an additional four is when it starts yeah. getting to the... It also doesn't have a, a ton of mana. Yeah. Like, you're going to be activating uh, Wolf Run for four and five very easily. It'll be activating yeah. for like two, which is yeah. just worse than a township. Right. Yeah, it's Wolf Run is really a card that you can only use if your deck is playing Farseek. It also has 37, 32 creatures and seven cards that make creatures. Or 32 creatures and five cards that make creatures. Yes, his deck is creatures. Mono creatures, so Gavany Township, much better in this type of deck that floods the board, as opposed to a deck that uh, can play like a singular threat, like yeah. a Thrag Tusk, and just keep it, one th Are we at another player. mulligan? Are we just gonna... Uh, I believe uh, Ben is mulliganing again and again. Uh, we didn't look. I'm assuming that if he's still pile shuffling, it's gotta be another mulligan. Oh. <clears throat> It's another mulligan or a slow play warning, and I don't know which <laughs> one. I believe that it's a mulligan. We have received confirmation that he's down to five. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we'll just play game three, uh, best of one match. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> you may begin. <laughs> best of one match, you can uh, reveal some cards. Although, like, being five cards on the draw is not a death sentence. Sure. If if the five are good, right, you can you can play like, like his draw could be like his draw could still be like you know, Champ. pilgrim, borderland ranger, huntmaster, or something. Like or that. just like, champion, mayor. Yeah. Thali. Uh, I don't know what other card I want to draw on that. Like just champion, champion, champion. There we go. Did yeah. it. Oh, is he, he's on. Yeah. Okay. He just drew for a turn. He kept his hand. Um, does Temple, Temple Garden, Garden and champion. champion to Paris. So we're part of the way there to your Yeah. Your unbeatable draw. Pilgrim? You did board in the sever. Yep. Yeah. So doesn't Cap look like he can cast it currently. No. Alright, so Cavern from Ben. He did also board in a centaur healer, it looks like. Champion Pilgrim. Okay. It's a decent five. Yeah. So I like, and Ben's gonna play magic like I'll be with like Significantly fewer cards. Yeah. Than he would like, but he still gets a play. Sure. Centaur healer gonna come down and cause some trouble. Zach up to 21. All of these uh, friend lands, as you said. Yeah. I'm gonna play tap this time. No friends. Ben has a Borderland Ranger and a Celestia Charm. I think if I'm him, I just cast the ranger and play the land because it looked like he had a Gabony Township too. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now, like he can just pass and then untap, guarantee have a four-four to break through this three-three. Yep. Start leveling his team, which you know could be a real issue actually. Mm -hmm. You know, this Gabony Township could just be enough. It also has a Selesnya charm in his hand. But yeah. So Ben is actually like doing well. Yeah. Like this is like a normal draw for him, even though it started on so few cards. Yeah. So for uh, Zach's gonna Zach's attack. Zach's gonna 
He has a resto angle. So he has two the, of them, I believe. The very obvious represented restoration angle. Yeah. Yeah, might as well. That's like one of the things where like you could just kind of put it. I would just put it into play now. Like you're not bluffing anything. You could always just not have it. So like, you want to set up the ability to not have it later and make the same play maybe. Sure. I I guess Ben can't actually uh, interact with the healer. There right. are a lot of decks though that like people like. Oh, I'm gonna slow roll your angel. You slow roll angels against yeah. like. Your mono red. Yeah, and you just get punished or whatever. Yeah, yeah your spells, what's the line from uh, Paulo? Your spells don't have provoke or whatever. Yeah. You don't have to cast them at the absolute ideal time every time because yeah. that might not be right. Uh, the other thing, I guess it gains a little bit more life if uh, Zach like blocks with the Pilgrim and then blinks the Pilgrim. But he's going for uh, I think you have the, to. the double block. Yeah. On... Uh, and so, depends on what Ben's going to do. If Ben has another play, I think you just let the champion die. He but apparently, he, I think actually town chipping here is better. Because then your Borderland Rangers are effectively a 4-4 next turn through the healer. Mm -hmm. um, perfect. It, it's a miracle. Right on time. Well, every miracle's right on time. Uh, the ones you can't cast, I guess, are not on yeah, time. Yeah, I was definitely playing Magic Online yesterday. My opponent revealed a bonfire to a miracle and then conceded because he realized he didn't have red mana. Oh, nice. <clears throat> so, Another champion coming down, Mathalia. Thalia right on time to stop the bonfire. Yep, yep. Perfect. Bend down to a dangerous... Nine, Nine life. Yeah, jeez. Bonfire is a way of uh, just like, all right, I can recover. Oh, crap. Like, they got to fireball me and hit me with their team. Yeah, I mean, it's one of these cards where, like, in your opponent meantime. just having it in their deck is very dangerous for you because you could just end up in a situation where, like, you go long, but they just have a bonfire on top of their deck and you die. Yep. So you need a way to close or to get out of range. All right, so I believe Ben has a Celestia charm still. Yep. We're going to pass with this Gavney Township up to make the Thalia brick wall the 3-3s. Three mm -hmm. But likely what's going to happen is that those 3-3s three are going to get in and this Restoration Angel could get cast. Um... I think I would have done that because that pushes in the most damage. Yeah. Like whichever one he blocks with the Thalia gets... Gets blanked. Yeah. Though this is also reasonable so, as Ben has passed without playing spells. For Yeah, Ben doesn't have a lot of spells to play and like this Hubmaster flipping back and forth is... Uh, uh, I don't know about this sequencing. <clears throat> Ben's going to block down Bolt. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I don't mind Ben uh, trading. I agree. There. I think that's a fine play. But he does need to cast some spells, which I'm not sure if he's capable of doing. He doesn't have a lot of cards in his hand. Like, Celestia Charm seems very poor here. Is that a Fiend Hunter he drew, maybe? A uh, Fiend Hunter would be excellent. Nope, looks Celestia, like Celestia Charm, Charm through my Thalia. <laughs> This classic interaction we talked about earlier yeah. when we watched the Green White Humans deck continuously become an issue. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the times, like, uh, Thalia prevent, like, it hinders yourself just as much as it hinders other decks. Like, yeah. Like, which, which player has more spells? Like, granted, like, Ben only has the five spells. But whenever you want to cast one, you don't have enough lands to do so because yeah. that's what your deck is trying to do. Right. Whereas, like, his ice tag, it has, like, far seeks or whatever Garrett that. Six. One. Oh, Garrick. Oh, Garrick through Thalia. Okay. Beast mode. I'm going to play some Drago when we're up uh, 25 to 6. Ben has somewhat stabilized. <laughs> Not really. I don't think Ben stabilized one bit. No, not at all. 
The joke being he's the aggro deck with no real reason to stabilize. Mayor? Uh, okay. His last card is. I'm assuming it's a land because or not if a it, land. Yeah, not a land. He would 100% play it. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yep, okay, it is a land. That was a very slow, and. <laughs> what is he gonna do? Not play the land? Yeah. He's decided like some attacks might be good. Yeah. That seems aggressive. I guess the yeah the knight isn't a human, so oh it's attacking Garrick. Yeah, like, I don't like that play so much. Uh, uh, I guess he could just take it, let his Garrick die, and then, like, he's <laughs> facing lethal. Not quite lethal, but he's facing, like, very bad counterattacks. I wasn't... It's not... No, it would be lethal. Ben's at six. He... Oh, it's four. Never mind. Yeah. Garrick drawing three. Angel Serenity, and... That is... Are we still playing this game? Apparently. Eh, Ben down to one. I guess Ben's bluffing uh, a bonfire in his deck or what, something like that. Terminus? Term yeah, yeah, something along those lines. This <laughs> is... It's a miracle. <clears throat> yeah. Because it wasn't, like, actually lethal. It was just, like... Yeah. So... Going to a game three where hopefully fair magic is played. I felt like Ben did well. Like, I think the bonfire was more crippling to Ben than the mulligan to five. That's like, fair. By a long shot. Like, the Gavany Township did a lot of work. Yeah. That card is very powerful. Mm -hmm. uh, like, unfortunately for Ben, that uh, he just like didn't have ways to beat a bonfire. There aren't a lot of ways to beat a bonfire. I mean, don't play mono creatures. Well, aside, like, once you've committed your deck to not being good against bonfire, it's very hard to beat a bonfire. Yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> or Supreme Verdict, or Terminus. And one of those uh, places where I don't think I would want Nevermore, I might, I could maybe justify rootborn defenses. I could see that. It lets you make, like, bad attacks. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, both of these cards just aren't very good here. Ben has bon Ben actually does have bonfires of his own. He has two copies. Are those of it. good? Not sure. <clears throat> this is like one of those very awkward positions for Ben to be in. This is one of the reasons like we just don't like his deck. Yeah, I guess because last game like would be bonfires, bonfires is pretty safe. Yeah, bonfire is crazy good against him, Did but his own bonfires just aren't as good. Worth noting, I don't think Zach picked up one of his healers from his graveyard last game with the Angel Serenity. Okay. So. You know, you may have just missed that, or... Then I think it yeah, doesn't maybe matter. Yeah, about it, yeah. But a little... Yeah, so, I don't know, like, exactly what that means for Ben, but now that he's seeking his opponent to do it, it might be something that he can somewhat count on later. I don't really think that changes much, but... Yeah, you don't want Cigar... Yeah. I, I'm not looking at Ben's sideboard. I'm trying to figure out, like, how the cards in the sideboard are better than the ones in his deck. Yeah. I like, can't figure it out yet. Zach, they're just uh, different. With the little wave of the, you know, saying hi to folks Zach, back home. Yeah. Say hi to mom. Let's hey, see. Man. Yeah, I guess you need Oblivion Ring in this matchup, maybe. <sighs> Is that even good? Potentially, yeah. I don't. I'm not sure. What do you want a Oblivion Ring? Like Angel of Serenity. Yeah, it's but you're just dead by then, pretty much. Right. It's not like you have Thalia. You're pro are you leaving in Thalia, probably? I mean, Ben did. Well, I mean, he didn't see him do anything. Oh, uh, Like, sure. game one, I would have assumed that he's on some, like, mulch on burial right okay, deck. So, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, you'd want Thalia against their uh, grizzly yeah. salvages and mulches mm -hmm. and lingering stuff. So, yeah, maybe mulch. Ben is, like, sideboarding, like, more significantly. Yeah. For this game. You could, like, board out Thalia's, board in cards. No, and that, I mean that's a the weird thing about Ben's <clears throat> deck. I keep harping on this, but yeah, I'm not sure like what his what his cards are for. Is yeah, like just as cards. opposed to like 75 constructed playable cards. Yes, that that is a very good way to describe this deck. It is 75 cards that people assume are constructed playable. Yes, <laughs> uh, but like yeah, they just don't like 
work well together. Like you have, you have your like champion mayor draws. Yeah. And if that doesn't work out, we'll just go into the Huntmaster Resto Angel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're I mean, just like, there are synergies. Like, Huntmaster is a human. You have Resto Angel, which blinks your guys that are good with coming to play effects, and it blinks creatures to add counters to champion. Yeah. So it basically is a human. Like, there is a synergy going on. It's just like. Your cards are just cards. Yeah. There's no other way to put it. They don't really do too much. Well, when I saw Benner today and I knew he was here, I would not have guessed he'd be doing the same thing. He would be. He would be forcing himself to sit through this again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't even want Bonfire on this matchup. I don't think so either. It's just not even good to cast for like one. Oh. Yeah. How was? Like, okay, Ben going on to six, six this time. At least. So, how many lands does Ben have? 23. 23. Is that enough, you think, to really have Bonfire in your deck? With four Pilgrims? Not particularly. Yeah. He has three Borderland Rangers. Okay, maybe uh, that is. That helps because he doesn't have a ton of red sources. <laughs> His two Clifftop Retreats, two Crags, one Mountain. Okay, so maybe he does. May like, my assumption is that Bonfire is like a very heavy mana intensive card. Mm hmm. Uh, he doesn't. It's not easy for him to cast it from his hand. And then, like, assuming he has to Borderland Ranger for a red source, he doesn't have early bonfire. That's fair. Access. So, looking at Zach's deck, he has one, he has thirty three mana sources to bonfire with. Yeah. Ben has thirty. Not that big of a difference. Okay. I would imagine that uh, Zachary has far more red sources. Uh, yes. It looks like eight. Eight, eight lands plus four far seeks. Yep. <sighs> we did see that uh, the Mulligans weren't as big of an issue for Ben because of Township, so we'll see what happens mm -hmm. this game. Township almost feels like multiple spells when you draw it. Yeah. Like it's a land and multiple, like two spells or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's like a glorious anthem is worth a spell usually, so casting one every turn. Yeah. <sighs> yep, he oh, bended the, leave into Thalia. We see the Thalia uh, Celestia Charm. Duo. Synergy. <laughs> Duo. <laughs> he has a Garakul on in his hand too. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Does that keep another one lander? I hope not. Nope. nope. Colors aren't lining up the best, but he's gonna have a smiter. And Zach is now the aggro. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, we have a Restoration Angel, a Selesnia Charm, and not a, a third go? land. I think there's a Borderland Ranger though. Uh, oh, there's an Zach Oblivion Ranger? Zach just miracled a bonfire. Right on time, question mark? Mm. So, a three mana Farseek for Zach. Probably for, for and Blood Crypt? <laughs> well, do you, probably get Blood Crypt. Uh, depends on how much you value your, uh, you think your white source is stable. That's fair. I think he also has more white sources to draw, though. He's got 11 white sources to draw okay. here. And it also depends on the contents of his hand. Oh, 11, 12, 13. If you count the other pilgrims, he has like 14 more white yeah. sources. And I don't think he has pilgrims under any fire. Yeah. Mayor, Thalia, attack, and everything you control dies to bonfire still. Yep. Yeah, he also drew the bonfire, so he clearly wants to get red mana there. Oh, oh and a vault. Red. Five, six. So bonfire for two. Uh, I mean that's the same as bonfire for one and attacking with the pilgrim, right? Yeah. So it's just. Yeah. No change there. And down to ten life here. Yep. Locks it on spider doing its job, cracking away at life totals. Still stuck on lands. Some fun and interesting games of Magic being played. 
I like how even though they mulligan, the match still takes a while because they just mulligan and that takes a while. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Selesnya Charm is going to ambush this pilgrim. Takes out the white source. You've been slamming the knight into play. Did it. Gained an advantage. <laughs> for, for once in the match. And Farsi got the white source again. Probably for her Temple Garden. Yep, yeah. that's the one that he has. He doesn't have Hollow Garden. Correct. Correct. Then untaps. Does and not draw land found, again. Yeah. <laughs> with his newfound spell. Down to six life. Very likely dead. Mayor of Avalbrook comes into play. Okay, that's a card that could turn the tide here. If Zach's hand was like absolutely all blank. Yeah, I mean, if, if Zach had a Vault of the Archangel in play instead of a Catholic Wolf on. Yeah. It could turn the tide. Uh, yeah, exactly. But well, Zach's hand is actually all spells, and uh, it looks like he'll be casting some of them. I'm gonna guess Garrick. Mayor now. You think the mayor, uh, I guess Ben's plan is to not let the mayor double block. Yeah, I'm... But I feel like this Garrick's going to make that difficult. Vehicle bonfire for one. Let's see it. Let's see it, Ben. One time. Vehicle bonfire for one. Does nothing. Yes! <laughs> is it yes! actually? <laughs> I'm so good. Showboats. <laughs> Go. He didn't even read her. Oh. What? Why did the Garrick go to one? I don't, yeah, no. whatever. Whatever. It's all good. So Zachary West wins that game, uh, that match, two to one. Yeah. It really felt like zero to zero.